Could you um, focus a little bit more on the closed closed? If I'm outside, I need to go in. So that means so I need to adjust like from the point that I go outside so that I can close in, right? And then the same thing, I need to be, like we talked about this before, where it's like from the point of contact here, like horizontal, <clears throat> I can't close down from below. I have to make sure that I'm above the halfway line on the cross to close down. If we're looking from here, that even if, if I'm here, like more straight, that I'm gonna use my elbow because my wrist section is already inside. So I can't, I can't use my wrist to close in. I have to use my elbow section, right? And I use my hips and my claw to propel from my elbow to give like a little close. And then see, I need to change my rotation here so that I'm above the halfway line on the cross so I can give one close down. So if we're, again, I'm basically like I'm pinning or trapping his wrist by rotating to go, so I'm outside closing in and then from the top closing down. So you see like exaggerating this a little bit that that locks his wrist. And then now, so even if he's out here, Right now I can condense and I'm dragging him with me like closer back toward my body. I just don't chase my hand. Like, boom. All right. Boom. No good. I got to get close, close. Now I can like drag him with me and condense. So now <clears throat> if we're, if we're out here, that looks more like close, close. Now I can condense. See, because I'm above that halfway line, I'm dragging him, I'm dragging that point of contact with me, I can condense. If I just condense from here, his hand is free. <clears throat> so it's close, close, condense.